Okay, so number one, right now you're checking your work. And the first criterion of our self-assessment says accurately create an equation. Okay, so step one, what you have to check for now is if you can create the equation. So for number one, the equation should have been seven friends at store. He bought 57 pieces. Okay, so 57 pieces should have been your dividend and seven should have been your divisor okay at the store so Zayden wanted to give each of his friends an equal amount of candy so if he has seven friends and we know that's the divisor your picture should look something like this okay so seven seven groups and then you stop when you get to 57 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, and 57. Remember, we stop when we get to the dividend. But this one has more than the rest because I can't add another one. So I take that one back. And that is what's left over. Okay? So remember, your answer is whatever is inside here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? That is the quotient. The remainder is 1. You need to include the quotient and the remainder. But that is not the what our question is asking us. How many more pieces should he have bought so he didn't have any extra? This is the extra he has. So how many more does he need? Which means if we have one extra, and I put this in here, and I'm going to change it a different color because this is the remainder. Okay. Now, how many more does he need so they each get one? So that's what we count. Not the one that we have remaining, but the more, the, what I'm going to put in red, that is what we're going to add. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so he needed six more pieces of candy. So to answer that in a complete sentence, how many more pieces should he have bought? He should have bought... Six more pieces of candy, okay? Remember, you have to have all these things. The equation, the illustration, answer in a complete sentence, and this shows me that you know what the remainder means because the green represents what we had remaining. Six more is what he needed so we wouldn't have anything left. Okay, number two. A flash drive could hold three gigs of data. If you needed to store 32 gigs, how many flash drives would you need? Okay, first steps first, we've got to create the equation. I know 32 is my dividend, and three is my divisor. So I'm gonna have three groups, okay? And I'm not gonna stop till they're all gone, but I know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, That's 30, and then 31, 32, and my dividend is done. But I can't do that because that's not equal, so I take those two back, and I'm going to leave them out here, and I know that is my remainder. So my quotient is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My remainder is 2, okay? and you need to write this. You need to have the, the quotient and the remainder. Now, is that what it's asking me? All right? That's not what the question says. It says if you need to store 32 gigs, how many flash drives would you need? Right now, you know you need 10. But you still have these two gigs. So they need a flash drive. So you can't just say, oh, forget about these two gigs I have. You need to include them. So this one means you wouldn't need another flash drive. Okay? 
So how many total flash drives do you need? You need one, two, three, four. Or I'm sorry, pause there. That's not what it's asking. You would need to um, do the same thing. I'll pause real quick. Yep. Okay, so I have my remainder two. That's not what it was asking. So these remainder two, I'm gonna add them to my group. One, two, but how many more would I need to fill them up? I would need one more, okay? Which means now I would need a total of how many? I would need 11, okay? This one might be tricky, but I need 11 flash drives. So if you had 11, that means I need 11 flash drives. So how many would need, how many flash drives would you need? I would need, that's an N, 11 flash drives. Okay, and again, remember, you gotta restate the question. It's right here, how many flash drives would you need? I would need 11 flash drives. Make sure you understand when you're doing your, your assessment, check first the equations. This is number one, okay? Check if you got all your equations correct, okay? That's all I'm gonna show you. Step one right here says, I accurately create an equation for the division word problems. So for all your problems, first check if you did this correctly, Create the equation. If you got it right, that's one. You, like Just like we practiced, there's four problems. So you got that correct. Did you give me an illustration that was correct? Yes. If you didn't, then you put a minus one, okay? So in order to get an exceeded on all of it, an A plus, you would have had to have, your answer had to be 11, okay? Because the answer is, remember, what is inside each group? Now I have two right here. In order to make it equal, I needed to add another one. And then when I count, I have 11. But the original quotient is 10 remainder 2. Okay. Now, to answer your question, you would have had to come up with 11. All right. So on the previous one, if you rewind it back, you'll notice that the answer was different up here. It was whatever the answer was, it had a remainder. Okay. So you leave that original problem alone. Then you answer your question. All right. You're going to want to know, how many would you need? That's a whole another question that interprets the remainder. Okay, because you know you have two. How many more would you need to fill that? One more. Now check your answer. Now I have 11 in each one, so that means I would need 11 flash drives. Okay. And again, you're continuing checking your work. Number three. Jose has to sell 70 chocolate bars to win a prize. If each box contains six chocolate bars, how many boxes will they need to sell to win the trip? Okay, so first identify my dividend and divisor. The dividend should have been 70. The six right here should be the divisor. Okay, so that means I need six groups. Okay, you do this part first, that way you can figure out what your remainder is. Okay. Okay, six. Okay, so here's your equation. Your illustration is coming up. I already know one. So I'm just going to start with 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because this will be 60. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, it was just a shortcut. You didn't do that. You kept going one, two, three, until you get to 70. Right now, I'm at 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Uh-oh. Can't do that because they don't get it out. Or they all don't get one. So I got to go back to... All right. And so now I know I had four remainder because there's 66, 69, 70. 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. All right, so four are left over, okay? So my answer for my original problem, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. How many remainder? 
four. Okay, so that should have been correct. That is your remainder. Your answer for your division problem is 11. The question is 11, remainder four. And now, let's answer this question. How many boxes will we need to sell the trip? To need to sell to win the trip, okay? He needs to sell 70. Right now, he sold 66. So that means he needed 11 boxes, but is 66 what he wants? No, he needs 70. So we're gonna put these in there. These are gonna get it going here now. So one, two, three, four, and I can erase my remainder because I added them. Now I know, okay, I need two more. So these are the two more we have to add to make him get to 70, right? He's already at 70 with the green, but if he needs to get to 70, you can't just take some chocolates out of the box, right? You, they come in a pack. You can't just take some out. So how many packs does he need? He was already at 11, but because we added this one more, he needs 12. Okay, so your answer should have been 12. How many boxes will he need to sell? He needs to sell 12 boxes. Okay, and that's a complete sentence. You can put Jose, but you need to say boxes, not 12 groups, not 12 bars, boxes. All right, so if you got the equation correct, when you're going through it and you're doing your self-assessment, you put plus one. If you got it wrong, minus one, okay? And then you're gonna add up all your points at the end. It's out of four. So if I minus one, that's already three. If I got another one wrong, I'm at two, okay? Same thing with your illustrations. Now the original illustration is what I'm looking for. The one when you add the others, that is that is not what I'm looking for, okay? Or I will check them both. Okay, if you have this correct, then that means you knew what you were doing here. So if you have 11 with the remainder four over here, that is correct. If you have 12 in each one because you added these, that is correct. We should have said that in the first part, but I'll remind us as we before we take the the this test. Okay. Number four, remember that you're checking your work to see how you do. So I'm answering them so that you can check your work. Please do not erase. Check your work. Be honest. This is going to show you what you know and what you need to work on. That's why you're doing a self-assessment. At the carnival, eight friends bought 71 tickets. If they wanted to split all the tickets so each friend got the same amount, how many more tickets would they need to buy? So in order to solve this, we still got to identify the dividend and the divisor. Dividend divisor. So if you had that, good. So that means I need eight groups. The divisor tells me how many groups. Okay. And now I'm going to keep going. One, two, three, until I get to 71. Okay, so I'm at 64. So I'm continuing my counting. I kept going. I'm at 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71. Oh, I'm done. So I can't add more. So I notice that these extras, I got to take them back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven remaining, right? All right. And this is my original problem. This is how I started it. Before I, I'm trying to answer this, you have to do this part first. Okay. So I have eight in each one. My remainder is seven. Okay, so that's what you should have. Now, how many more tickets would they need to buy so they can all have the same amount? Well, these are the extra tickets. So if I add them to these groups, and I'm gonna do that. So these green ones, I'm gonna add to the group. There were seven, four, five, six, seven, okay? So that's it. That's what I had left. Now, how many more would I need to buy so that they all had the same amount? The only one that didn't get one was this one. So now I know. I would only have to buy one more ticket so that we all got the same amount. Okay, so how many more tickets would they need to buy? They would need to buy One more ticket. Okay, and all the spelling is in here. 
Okay, so tickets, buy, all right? So again, the next step would be to go to the rubric that we're working on. And what you're gonna do is check how you did. All right, so first step you're gonna look at, and I'm reading the rubric right now. The first one says, I accurately create an equation. That is this part, okay? So did you do that right for zero, one, or two problems? If you did only get one or two, you would circle this one. If you got three of them right, because that's the only difference right here, three problems, you would circle this one. And if you got all the equations correct, you would circle exceeded. The next one says, I accurately illustrate the process. So again, that one might be confusing to you. But if you had the eight with the, remainder, the green remainders over here, that is correct. If you have all of them filled with nine in each one, because we added these seven and then this eighth one, and if I count again in each one there's nine, that is correct, okay? I'll probably ask you if you're doing dots to use a star to represent the, the new ones you added or something else, okay? So a star, that, that way, I could tell which one you added that doesn't belong, right? Because you probably don't have color one. So if you got three of your picks, one, two, or none of yours correct, you would circle this one. If you got three of your illustrations correct, you would circle this one, okay? So one, zero, one, or two, you circle this. Three, you circle this, okay? Four of them correct, you exceeded, you do that. I accurately proved the exact quotient for the division problem. So the exact quotient would be this one. That's why I'm asking you to make sure that you put it there. Because this is not talking about the quotient. This is talking about understanding the next part. Okay, so the exact quotient is going to be right here or inside here. Either one has to be correct. Okay, so I'm going to look for this one. I don't even want you to think this one. So I'm going to say this is the one that's correct. So did you get the quotient correct? So on each one, if you had eight on the other ones and the remainder, then you can say you got zero, one, or two, you got at least three, or you got at least four, okay? I accurately interpret the exact remainder by answering in a complete sentence, and that is this, okay? So I'm gonna look at this, and if you got that correct, then you did. So did you get one, zero, or two, three of them, or four of them, okay? And you circle each box. Your next step, you're going to answer these questions, which basically is a reflection, okay? Now, I could read all this, but it's what I'm asking you is if after looking at this and you had a not a not yet met, I want you to tell me what specifically kept you from getting a met or exceeded. What do you need to work on? So I don't want you to just say, I need to work on counting. Counting what? And counting is a lot of it, right? So I want you to tell me specifically, I need to work in work on creating an equation. I need to work on creating my illustration. I need to work on answering incomplete sentences and interpreting the remainder. How can you do that? Well, it goes back to reading the directions or what is the problem? So you need to tell us or tell me what is the problem. And this is a self-assessment. This is what's gonna help you understand what you need to get better at so that you can meet or exceed 